My great result for you guys is that second 40 was really inspired. Uh, the, the ball winning was great. The pace was good. The combo work was good. You know, there were bits and pieces in that opening 40 that weren't great, but that second 40 was great. What do you think changed uh, there in, after halftime? Um, I honestly think that after the first half, we kind of, we thought of what we need to work on. I mean, we had the first 10. That was all us. And then they scored and then we kind of dropped a little bit. And then once Erica got us, she got us going, which was really nice. And then we were able to build that up after halftime and come back in, fix what we need to work on, and we pulled through and really had a good second half. You know, we've talked about it over the years, the interchangeable parts in the side. Like, you can float in the midfield and you had a really good second half. You know, Lydia can play stopper down the stretch while you guys are trying to protect a lead. It's got to be really nice to be able to mix girls around, you know, put Mia Rainey up top, she performs well, and have different girls in the side who can perform well, right? Oh, for sure. Mia really had a great impact on us tonight. She really stepped up. Um, and being able to switch us all around and be comfortable in those positions and not be like, oh, what do I do? We all know what to do in every position, you know? We're a very versatile like team and we can work the field and it really works out, it helps a lot. I suppose the only drawback today was the set piece defending was not fantastic. Do you feel like that's something you guys need to work on going forward? For sure, you, you know, um, we're not, never goes on the keeper, you know? It starts with the foul. We have to work on that, especially in the back. You know, it's dangerous. We have to work on our defending overall. And like you said, on um, marking up on the set plays and we'll get better at it. The type of match situations you guys have faced in the last several days, being down 2-1 at Kenston, falling behind early, albeit briefly here. Can those type of situations uh, really uh, help you guys and benefit you guys going forward as the matches get bigger? Oh, for sure. You know, I'm not really sure what it is with the whole let them score first thing, but we're <laughs> going to get out of it soon. Um, it really does help because you never know what's going to happen in the tournament, you know. And we know that playing this and knowing that we can get out of that situation, we're not going to get scared in the tournament if a situation like this comes down to it. You know, we're ready. We've been through it at least like three games now. So going into the tournament, if that ever happens, we don't panic. We adjust and we'll perform.